I guess, Joe Paulo, uh, where did you feel like this game started to get away? It seemed like you guys started really well, but uh, weren't able to sustain that that momentum. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say when uh, the game started to shift. Uh, I think right after we, we score, uh, we tried to keep playing uh, and try to find uh, good spots. Uh, but we missed some uh, some looks, some passes, and uh, that, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, start to give them a little boost, a little confidence back into the game, and uh, yeah, they find that goal. Uh, but to be honest, I think uh, we need to be better in those moments. Uh, they are a good team, but uh, the truth is uh, is more like our fault uh, than uh, their uh, ability to to score. And we need to be better in that in those moments. All right, we'll go to Maz next. Maz, go ahead and please ask your question. Yeah, Jordan. Obviously, you all start you 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 all started well. Uh, you know, you, you get ahead. Did anything change in their defense? Uh, you know, because on that goal flat line, Shaw Paulo sees your run, he hits you, and 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 you spring loose. Did did they change their defense at all? No, I don't think so. Um, they're still playing a high line, and um, you know, I think that we like like JP said, it's kind of on us. We just weren't sharp enough, and um, we needed to score the. I mean, obviously, when they scored, it it shifted momentum in in their <clears throat> favor, but. We had some decent moments at the beginning of the second half, um, and we just need to be better in the in the final third in, in those moments. I don't think they shifted anything. It was just more um, we needed to be we needed to be sharper because um, obviously they they needed to push for a win. So in those moments where we could could transition, we just needed to be a little bit sharper. Joel, do you feel you had enough people in the midfield to be able to look for the different passes you're speaking to and make more passes? Uh, I think our shape was decent. Um, it's a tough uh, place to play. Uh, they press a lot in those uh, areas. They try to press every time we get the ball. So, uh, but first half we had good momentum, good uh, uh, composure on, on the ball. Uh, it's just lack of uh, focus and uh, like Jordan said, we need to be sharper in those uh, in those uh, plays uh, because at the end of the day, uh, those moments uh, uh, make the difference uh, or we're winning or, or losing the game. Thank you. All right, next question, we'll head over to Jada Evans. Jada, go ahead and ask your question, please. Thanks. Thanks for the time, y'all. Um, when you're talking about the uh, focus or losing focus, um, JP, are you? It, is there any moment uh, toward the end of the matches where you guys regroup or anything? Because this is, uh, I believe, the fourth time that you've allowed a goal late like that. Um, do you regroup or talk about this at all in these games? Yeah, today was a little bit, a little different because we are playing down a man uh, the last 20 minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes. So that's make uh, a huge uh, difference into the game. Uh, but for me, before that, we need to be sharper, we need to be better controlling the game and uh, creating more chances. Uh, we are capable of uh, doing that. And so we need to, yeah, to, to be better. Do you have anything to add, I guess, Jordan, to that? No, I think, again, it, this game, like JP said, was different with the red card. Obviously, I don't know what number red card that is for us this year. That's just shooting ourselves in the foot. So um, I think it's on on us. And, um, again, I, I thought, you know, looking back at the second half, like, obviously, things were fine and before the red card. And we had to, we created a couple of decent chances. And, um, yeah, it's – it's, it's uh, it's frustrating and not that we're putting that on Reed in, in any 
any way. He, he, you know, has been out for a long time. We're happy to have him back. And, and I thought he played really well. And um, yeah, it's probably a learning moment, but I thought he did, he did really well, but we need to, you know, stop shooting ourselves in the foot with, with red cards. And um, yeah, it, there wasn't necessarily a talk in this game regroup or anything like that. It was just kind of try to survive the last 20 minutes. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're all frustrated as a group for sure. All right. Next question over to Jose Moreno. Jose, you should be good. Gentlemen, in the interest of, of recognizing your efforts and, and understanding that it's a difficult place to play, um, what were some of the things that you guys felt that you did well up until the the momentum shifting uh, red card that happened? I thought we, we honestly, yeah, like you said, we came out well. And I think we've been lacking this year in terms of just being a little bit more direct, trying things in the final third, not worrying as much about losing the ball. And um you know, like the goal, like JP's ball was incredible. And we, I think we need to try that stuff more. We, we, I think we've potentially, you know, become a little bit stale in that part of the game. And it's been, been frustrating. I know it's been frustrating for us, frustrating for the fans, frustrating as a, as a team, we need to score more goals. So I, I was actually, when we came in at halftime, obviously we didn't want to give up the goal, but I thought we were, you know, playing more fluid soccer and, and, um, and, you know, free flowing and, and transitioning well and, and creating opportunities that in, in maybe past games we weren't creating. So that's what we want to get back to. And <clears throat> I guess if we can take one thing away from that, I know we only scored one goal, but we got to keep building on that and keep improving on that. Cause at least for us on the field, it felt, it felt a lot better when we came in at halftime, you know, that was one of the, the positives that we took away is that we were, we were trying things and, and creating more. So um, yeah, I, you know, obviously the result is is difficult, and we're very frustrated. But um, we got to keep building on that. All okay. right, Felipe Makeda, go ahead and ask your question, please. Thank you, Alex. Uh, la pregunta es para los dos, tanto Joao y Morris. Um, ¿Qué tan cansados estaban ustedes cuando salieron de del partido y también? Eh, ¿Qué tan importante es la experiencia de un jugador para cerrar partidos importantes como es este y como lo era el partido contra Real Salt Lake la semana pasada? Gracias. Hey, Felipe, just a heads up. We have no translation tonight. So unless Jao wants to tackle that one, we might need you to ask it in English. Alex, I'm happy to translate. Uh, that's okay, Jose. I appreciate the offer. Uh, Felipe, yeah. do you mind just uh, asking in English? Sure. Uh, my question is uh, for both of you, uh, how tired were you guys uh, were when you exit the game? And also how important is the experience of a player to close important games like this one and like the one uh, against Real Soleil? Thank you. Uh, I think I was tired. Uh, was uh, pretty intense match. Uh, but again, uh, we trust in everybody in this group. Uh, we need to make subs uh, late in the game to, to get uh, fresh legs into the game. So, again, uh, playing down a man is, is a hard uh, uh, task uh, in those uh, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but, yeah, we need to, to extend uh, more possession every time we... Uh, extend possession, five, ten passes, uh, we create uh, good looks, good chances, uh, but it was, was it not uh, enough. All right, we'll take one or two more here. Jeremiah, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, um, I guess I'm just curious, you know, you guys had built up some decent momentum over the last month avoiding results like this exactly i mean how much of a setback is this and and how do you go about sort of just turning the page and, and looking forward yeah obviously we've had a good run of games and um you know it's it's frustrating again i know the narrative is we kind of turned their season around last year and unfortunately did it again this year so um for us yeah it's it's frustrating coming off of run of games but you know, I'm, I, I think we looked after the game. I'm pretty sure we're, we're one th three points out of a, a playoff spot with a, with a game in hand right now. So 
um, if I'm right on that. Um, so we just got to keep going. We're halfway through the year. Um, we got to keep pushing and, and build off the, the games previous. And like I said, maybe build off some of the attacking movements that we had in, in this first, in the first half, especially. So we, we know we're a good team, that the belief in the locker room is still 100% there. The effort's still 100% there. And we're going to get ourselves out of this for sure. So we, we got half a season to, to do it and, and push our way up the table. And I know the guys are confident that we're going to do that. We're not going to let this result, you know, push us back at all.